Hello everyone and welcome to my second Autodesk Advanced Steel tutorial. In this Advanced Steel tutorial, I'll be showing you how to draw in steel connections for a portal frame. And for this tutorial, I'll be starting with the international country settings and configurations. So click on OK. And I'll quickly open up the previous portal frame that I've drawn in the last video. So this is the portal frame from the last tutorial over here. So to draw in a steel connection in advanced steel, proceed to the connection vault button over here. You can find it in the home tab over here. So it is very convenient to find it. So click on it once. And I will show you how to draw in the base plate first. So left click it once. And if you realize there's this diagram on the right hand side over here, you can actually interact with it by hovering your cursor over it and clicking and dragging. So you can see all the typical base plate connection types. You can have a base plate for a circular column or something like a box column over here or a universal column or something like this C channel over here. So let's select on the column over here. And you'll be greeted with this question over here. Do you want to select an additional concrete object? I would click on yes and select this concrete object and hit enter. And there we go. This is our column base plate over here. So for this video, I will not be showing you how to detail the steel connections in advanced steel. I'll just be showing you how to use the connection wall just to quickly draw in the steel connections. Instead, I'll be making other advanced steel tutorials for all the different types of connections that you'll see in a typical portal frame. So stay tuned for other advanced steel tutorials on more specific steel connection types like base plates and haunches and so on. So I'll just quickly click on X over here. And now let us make the eaves haunch over here. So let's proceed to the column dash beam option here. And let's find the neoframe bolted with haunch over here. And let us select the column and hit enter first. And select the rafter and hit enter. And here we go. This is our eaves haunch over here. So just click on X for now. So we will be needing an apex haunch for this part of the portal frame here. So you won't be finding that in this category. Instead, click on beam end to end over here. And you can find apex haunch over here. So select rafter 1 and rafter 2 and once you hit enter Autodesk Advanced Steel will draw in the apex haunch for you so this is the apex haunch right here so now I'll be showing you how to draw in this steel beam to steel column connection over here so proceed to the platform beams category over here select the clip angle option now the order is very important over here so select the steel column first and hit enter and then select the steel beam and hit enter and this is the clip angle connection here now if you were to get the clip angle connection in the wrong order for example you will get something completely messy so instead of selecting the column first if you were to select the beam first and then select the column you would end up with this rather peculiar type of steel connection over here and this is not really a typical way to connect a column to a beam for a portal frame so that is why the order of selection is very important over here so if you select the column first and then select the 
beam, you will get a clip angle like this, which is the correct implementation of a clip angle connection. Whereas if you were to select the beam first and then the column, you will get something like this. So this is not the correct way to connect your beam to your column over here. You can actually make this clip angle connection a favorite just by clicking on the star and you can find it over here in the favorites category so you don't have to go through each one of these categories to find the steel connections that are important to you for example so for my last tip for this Autodesk Advanced Steel tutorial I'll be showing you one difference between the international country settings and configurations and the UK country settings and configurations so I'll use the UK one right now and open up the portal frame again so right now if I open up the connection vault and proceed to the column dash beam category you will not find the eaves haunch that we used previously the eaves haunch that we used previously is neoframe bolted with haunch so the closest thing that I can find here is this haunch over here so let's select the column first then the rafter so we do get a haunch over here but then the sizing is completely out of whack so that is why I prefer to use the international country settings and configurations and that's it for today's Autodesk Advanced Steel tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial give this tutorial a thumbs up and subscribe for more Autodesk Advanced Steel tutorials in the near future I'll be making separate Autodesk Advanced Steel tutorials on the steel connections that we used in this tutorial over here so stay tuned for those Autodesk Advanced Steel tutorials and as always stay safe keep learning and goodbye